Good boy, Prince. There we go. Come on, Prince. Good boy. Right, that's it. Eyes front. That's it. Come on, Prince. Round you go. That's it, boy. Eyes front. Keep going. Keep going. Good boy. Ooh. Looking good, Ellie. Yeah, well, he's been spending a bit too much time in the stables lately. He needs to burn off a bit of energy before this evening's ride. Would you be better off with another horse? Oh, Ellie knows what she's doing. Prince will be fine. Besides, that leaves one of the quieter ponies for the paying customers. Fine. Far be it for me to argue against the experts. Nice to see you two getting along so well. We're heading into town. You want to come? Uh, sorry, Dad. Can't. Homework. Oh, come on, it's Saturday. I'll buy us lunch. No, really, I'm not feeling that great anyway. What's wrong? Nothing, I just... I'm up for a big lunch, that's all. Well, maybe you'd better rest up then. I'm sure Dan can handle the sunset track by himself. No way, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, seriously, I'm happy to take it. No! No, I've always done that ride. But if you're feeling sick... I'll be fine. And he can forget about riding Prince. I'll take him. And here's me thinking you're starting to get along. Emma? It's in the middle of the night. I'm on my way to dance practice. Uh, at half past four in the morning? What dance is it? A moonwalk? Very funny, Dad. We like the early morning practice. No distractions. Huh. Rather you than me. Uh, when you get back, could you take Sudo for a while? Sure, Dad. Thank you. And can you stop by the market and pick up some vegetables for lunch? Anything in particular? Hmm. Surprise me. And Emma? What now, Dad? Have fun. Enough for the nationals. Well, if we work in it, I don't see why not. Cool. And I love this music. Where did you get it? My brother Josh mixed it. It's kind of his hobby. Sounds pretty professional to me. I'd love to use it for some of my dance classes. You can keep the CD. It's full of his tracks, and I've got it all on my laptop at home. Thanks. Okay, let's take another look at that routine from the top. So, how is Josh, anyway? I don't know. Same as always. I mean, does he ask about me sometimes? He asks how you are and says to say hi when we talk. So, hi, I'm Josh. Uh, nothing else? Come on, Emma, you live on the other side of the world. I know, but I'd really like to see him. And I'm always here. Well, you know you can't. They'll find out about the chat room and then we're finished. I'm not saying I'd have to meet him. We could just watch him play football. He is so cute in his sports shorts. You never give up, do you? I will say one thing. When you saw that photo of Nicholas on my phone and I said he was your friend, I think Josh was jealous. Really? Oh, no, he doesn't think I'm going out with Nicholas. Relax, I said friend, but he definitely reacted. What about him? Please don't tell me he's seeing anyone. As if between football and music and school and computers, where would he have time for a girlfriend? Just between us, I do think he likes you. Oh, too bad there's nothing you can do about it. Now let's get a move on. I've got a horse ride to lead. Oh, and we'll have dinner at seven after Josh's football training. Quick, my one of these.
days we're going to get caught. I know it. Well, let's keep going. My laptop, where is it? What do you mean? It was right here on my desk and now it's gone. Gone? Gone where? I don't know. Jackie? Stay cool. Don't panic. Why not? It's our only way home. Without it, we're stuck here. Uh, maybe you put it in your bag. Please tell me you put it in your bag. I didn't put it anywhere. You came to my laptop this morning, remember? Somebody must have taken it. It's been stolen? That's it. We're dead. We're worse than dead. Mom, have you seen my computer? Oh, Jackie, I didn't hear you come in. My computer? Uh, Josh borrowed it. What? Yeah, he said he needed it. Some sort of emergency. Where did he take it? Um, he didn't say, but he said it's all right. You can do your homework on his PC. Everything all right? Yes, everything's fine. I was just wondering. Thanks, Mum. OK. I promised to take the dog for a walk and go to the market for Dad. And I have to leave the sunset trash. <laughs> Stroll's going to be busting. He'll make a mess in the house, and I'll have to clean it up. OK, don't panic. Just let me call my crazy brother. Hey, Jackie, what's up, huh? Josh, where are you? Clark Key, you won't believe what happened this morning. I got a call from Mandy Jones. You know, Mandy owns a go club. They've got a party here this afternoon. Her DJ called in sick and they've asked me to fill in for money. That's great, Josh, but why have you got my laptop? I didn't have time to rip a bunch of discs this morning. Luckily, all my music's backed up on your laptop. Listen to me, I need it back now. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie, what did you say? I said Josh? I need my laptop now. Yeah, uh, that's me. Hi, I'm Mandy. Are you the new DJ? Uh, yeah. Good. Well, do a good job, and you just might get a regular gig here. Yeah? Well, come on in. I'll show you the setup. Wish me luck, Jackie. Gotta go. Bye. Josh! Josh! <sighs> he hung up on me. Once that party kicks off, he won't be back for hours. How am I supposed to do the sunset trek? What about Strudel's bladder? He can't hold on that long. What are we going to do? <sighs> We've got to try to get her back quickly. Wait, Emma. What if one of our friends see us? Then we'll say we're on a holiday. Yeah, and then they'll want to know where we're staying and how long for. We'll never get away with it. Well, have you got a better idea? OK, let me deal with this. You two stay here. I'll call you once I've got my laptop. Can I just sit here? What if she needs help? Like what? I don't know, but I'm not just going to sit here and wait while we could be doing something. What if someone sees us? Then we're going to make them think that they're seeing someone else. Come on. Oh, careful, yeah, well, there she is. She'll kill us if she sees us. But we're only trying to help. Yeah, she'll still kill us. All right, let's just go in and hang around in the background. What would happen? <laughs> Come on, Emma, you just want to see Josh. Who, me? I don't care if I see him or not. Oh, good, because his new girlfriend might be there. What? Dark. <laughs> hey, check out who else is here. Chelsea and her toadies. Why are they dressed like that? Everyone's dressed like that. It's a Halloween party. So much for our disguises. Hang on, come with me. We're not beaten yet. You came, like this track? Josh, I need to talk to you. I can't talk, I'm working. I need my laptop now. What? You crazy? No, just desperate. You stop bothering me, you're gonna get me fired. Sorry, but this is an emergency. So is this, this is my big break. I need my computer. I let you use all my music for your dance classes. You won't let me your laptop for a few hours, how fair is that? Is this young lady annoying you? Yes. Josh would recognize me in this. <laughs> Not even your own mother would recognize you in that. Oh, pass me that mask. He's my brother. I'm supposed to annoy him. I'm sorry, but you have to leave. What? This is fancy dress only. If you're not in costume, you're not allowed in. Josh, say something. See you later. Sorry, Jackie. Looks like you're not cool enough for this party. Now that DJ, he's seriously cool and cute. You stay away from my brother. He's your brother? How interesting. Please, this is all a big mistake. I just need to talk to my brother. Hey, Jackie. 
that's terrible. What? That's even worse. Stay there. We'll be with you in a minute. What's up? The bad news is, Josh won't give her the computer back and Jack has been thrown out of the club for not having a costume. And the worst news? Chelsea's after Josh. <sighs> okay, let's go back to the shop. Why? Just hurry up. Jackie! Ali? Emma? We've got your costume. How did you get here so fast and how did you know it was fancy dress? Cool tea. Uh, never mind, what's the plan? I don't have one. Okay, then let's keep it simple. Let's run in, grab the laptop and run out. That's your plan. Never said it was a good one. We can't just take the laptop. Josh's the DJ. He needs some music to play. The CD we gave Michelle. That's got the exact same music as your laptop, right? Yeah, so? So can't we just swap them? But how do we track down Michelle? That's easy. She'll still be at the dance studio. All right, you go to Michelle, but hurry. We have to be home in 40 minutes. What about you? I'll keep an eye on Chelsea. I don't think that's such a good idea. Do you think it's a good idea? No, but there's no time to argue. Come on. Where to? The YMS Art Centre, Waterloo Street. And if you know any shortcuts, feel free to take them. Emergency. What kind of emergency? Uh, no time to explain emergency. Okay. Whatever it is, I hope it's worth the effort. It better be. Thanks. Bye, kids. Bye. Oh, my foot! Out of my way, vegetable! Vegetables? Believe me if I told you. Excuse me, can we stop here, please? I really hope your dad enjoys his lunch. Can we just get the computer and get out of here? We need to distract Josh so I can put the CD in. He's already distracted. You're not worried about Chelsea, are you? Josh will discover how boring she is in five minutes flat. He doesn't look bored to me. Stop stressing. Grab the laptop. It's my first gig. Uh, come on, I bet the owner won't mind a little dance. <laughs> this is really weird. I'm sure I know you. 
hang out with vampires a lot, do you? No. <laughs> but I'd love to hang around with you. Really? Yeah. Maybe we could catch up after school? <laughs> Got it, let's go. She's headed to the She's not even looking at us. Don't worry about her. Come on. We can't just go back to your place and leave her here. You don't have to go back to my place. All we need is my laptop and our phones, remember? We can send you home from the bathroom. Great. Poor oh, Strudel. He's really gonna pay for this dance. Look what that idiot did. People like her should stay in kampongs where they belong. I wouldn't bother cleaning it. Josh seems to like the kampong girl better than you. We'll see about that. Move. Uh-oh. Did you have to say that? I'm sorry. Chelsea brings out the worst in me. Well, we can't let Emma face Chelsea on her own. But what about the sunset trick? There's still ten to go. Come on. Back. How's it going with the chat room? Just loading it up now. You ready? Mm -hmm. I suppose so. What's wrong? Your wish came true. You and Josh had a great time together. Yeah, but he didn't know it was me he was kissing. He thought it was some girl called Stephanie, not me, Emma. Hey, at least he wasn't kissing Chelsea. <laughs> Think positive. I know you really like him, but as far as he knows, you live on the other side of the world. Why do you always have to be so sensible? Because someone has to be. <laughs> hey, we better get a move on, or Strudel is going to be a poodle. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello? Is anyone in there? Stephanie? Hello? It's all under control. But I always take this trial, so give me two minutes to saddle up, okay? I don't think so. You've been off in your room for hours, not even answering the door. But... So your dad asked me to lead the sunset trek, and that's what I'm gonna do. You're welcome to tag along if you like. So is everybody ready for a ride into the sunset? Yeah. Let's go. to join us after all. I wanted to apologise. You're right, I was a pain and I'm sorry. Apology accepted. 
Anyway, I'm kind of glad things turned out the way they did. Why? I finally get to lead the sunset trip. But I thought you did that while I was in Singapore. Your dad wouldn't let me. He said it was your special ride. He put it on hold till you got back. Really? I never knew. Your parents really missed you. Your father only suggested we do it together because he thought we were starting to get along. Looks like he was wrong. Was he? You tell me. Truce. Truce. So, I've heard you get the best view of the sunset from Madison's lookout. That's what they say, but it's not true. Wiseman's Gap, that's the place. You ought to know, you're the expert. You really surpassed yourself this time. The secret is the fresh chai sip. Where in the world did you get it? Sorry? The chai sim. I thought it's impossible to get this time of year. Unless you live in Singapore. <laughs> it's just this little shop in the east. You must show me where it is. Yeah, sure. Um, I've finished my lunch. Can I go to my room? Of course. stuff I needed for school. So why didn't you just say? You wouldn't have listened. You were too busy being a super cool DJ, remember? But it turned out okay anyway. They won't be back next month. Congratulations. Now, if you give me back the wig, I can get back to the girl who lost it. So, this Stephanie, is she a good friend or what? Are you interested in all my friends? Not so long ago, all you talked about was Emma. But that's the thing. That's who she reminded me of. Really? It was like, if I didn't know Emma was in Hamburg. Which she definitely is. I know. It's crazy, right? Any chance she might be coming back for a holiday or something? Would you like that? Yeah. Very much. Hey, isn't that her room? She hasn't heard any of this. What do you think? Can you see her then? Now get out of here or I'll tell her you kissed a vampire. You can come out now. <laughs> Deal better? Much better. Thanks, Jackie. Don't worry. I'll ask a favor in return one day. You never know. I might even give it to you. He loves me. He loves me. He loves me.